Hi, I'm John Stevens, Systems Engineer with Texas Instruments High Performance Isolated Power Group. Today I will be talking about TI's 35 volt gate driver product for high power conversion systems that use IGBTs or FETs for the power switches. I will discuss traditional approaches to gate drives, show the advantages of our current IC solution, and demonstrate some of the performance on an evaluation board. Traditionally, designers have accomplished gate driving using matched transistor pairs. This buffer, combined with a level shifting circuit using MOSFETs, provides strong sourcing and sinking currents to the gate of the power switch at the appropriate gate voltage for proper turn on. This circuit, controlled by a logic level input signal provided in the bottom left at V1. You can see that performing these functions can lead to many individual circuit elements. With the increased use of digital controllers in high power systems, both functions become increasingly important because the low voltage, low current output signals of the controller are not adequate to properly turn on a power device. Both the level shift and buffer circuits pictured here can all be replaced with a single gate driver IC like TI's UCC27531. This driver combines both the level shifting capability and buffer functions into a single package. It also provides split outputs, an enable function, and can handle negative voltages up to 6.5 volts below its ground for both the input and enable pins. This capability to handle negative inputs is very useful in noisy environments such as switching power supplies. It also supports industrial environments where the ground can bounce from transient currents on the PCB ground, causing the input and enable signals to appear negative. The split output out H and out L allows the designer to control the turn on and turn off speeds of the power switch separately by setting of external resistors. Unlike the discrete transistor gate drive solution, if the input becomes floating on the driver IC, the output is held low to keep the switch off. Let's now take a look at this IC gate driver in action. To provide a consistent load for the gate driver, a ceramic capacitor similar to the gate of an IGBT is used while measuring performance. For this board, the UCC27531 is driving a 1 nanofarad ceramic capacitor at 30 volts with 0 ohm gate drive resistors. The input signal, which actually goes as low as minus 6 volts below the driver ground, does not cause any issue with the output, which is swinging to our supply of 30 volts. The propagation delay between the input and output signals is quite small at about 21 nanoseconds, which will result in tighter control of the switches in the system. If I remove the input signal and put it in a floating condition, the output becomes low, ensuring that the power switch stays off. We've seen that the UCC27531 gate driver combines both the level shifting and buffer functions that are seen in traditional discrete transistor solutions, but also provides advanced safety features integrated into a very small SOT23 solution. This integration limits external component count and can ultimately increase the reliability of the complete design. For more information about this product or other power management products, please visit ti.com slash power. Thank you for watching.